Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. Today, I'm going to present the topic of parameter design optimization for DC-DC power converters with deep reinforcement learning. My name is Fang Haotian. I'm a PhD student in Leuven in Belgium. In this presentation, I will start with a brief introduction about design automation of power electronics, and then I will explain the detailed procedures of power loss modeling for converters, including the semiconductor loss model and magnetic loss model. After that, I will introduce the deep deterministic policy gradient algorithm, which is one of the reinforcement learning algorithms. Then next, I will introduce the simulation results, and the last part is the conclusion. Nowadays, energy technology is becoming a critical research topic. For example, electric cars, solar photovoltaic system, and wind power system. In the meantime, power converters play an essential part for those emerging energy technologies, because they are widely used in all kinds of energy technologies. So, we can see that our converter is one of the enablers to new energy technology. However, on the other side, it gives more strict requirements on power converter design, especially for its efficiency, volume, and weight. However, in the power converter design, there are many factors that affect the converter performance, such as circuit topologies design, magnetic module design, and also the choices of semiconductors and other components. Those factors make design itself a complex activity because combining each possible design of magnetics and each choices of components can result in a large amount of possible designs. With thousands of possible designs, in order to define the optimal one, the computation becomes extremely expensive and also time-consuming. However, AI has been developing rapidly, and it has the potential to deal with the complex design problems and speed up the overall power converter design. That is why the topic of design automation for power electronics is drawing people's attention. Refreshment learning is one major branch of machine learning, other than supervised learning and unsupervised learning. The idea of reinforcement learning is to allow the computer to train itself by interacting with the environment, and in the meantime, adjusting its decisions based on rewards and finally finding the optimal scheme to achieve the goal. So we can say that reinforcement learning is a machine learning training method based on rewarding desired behaviors. One of the major advantages is that no labeled data is required for training. The agent can understand the environment by adapting different actions and receiving rewards. On the other side, the definition of environment and rewards are very important for reinforcement learning. Next, I will introduce the power loss models, including the semiconductor loss and magnetic loss. Due to the long linear properties of power loss modeling, especially on switching losses, mathematic methods do not always work well. So we use spy simulation to calculate the switching losses, which can provide constant information about the circuit's dynamic properties. Python programming is used to control the spy simulation to change in, in different uh, scenarios. However, spy simulations can take a uh, uh, a lot of time when the frequency is high. So in order to obtain an accurate efficiency model and also accelerate the optimization procedure, the data from SPICE simulation are collected to train an artificial neural network. As you can see here, with the input of frequency, capacitance, and inductance values, we can get an output of the efficiency voltage ripple, and also current ripples. As for the inductor design, many aspects need to be considered, including the shape, size, and the materials of the core, 
size and materials of coil former and also windings, including the windings type, materials, size, turns, and insulation. In this paper, we build a short list for E-shape cores in different sizes, and also a list of different materials that is used for those core shape. By combining different core with different winding turns and air gaps, we obtain hundreds of designs for one single inductance value under one specific frequency. Then we evaluate all the designs by their losses and volumes and then choose the optimal one as the design. But how to evaluate the losses? In this paper, we focused on EE shape core. So the equivalent C shape is analyzed for designing the inductor. The losses on the inductor are mainly core losses and winding losses. For the core losses, the improved Stamets equation is used for calculating the core losses. As for the winding losses, considering the current ripple, the skin effect is considered. So in the end, the winding losses can be consists of DC resistance losses and AC resistance losses. Next, I will talk about the deep deterministic policy gradient algorithm. Well, the basic idea of reinforcement learning follows the Markov decision process, which is described by a tube S, A, R, T, and pi. S is the current state of the agent, which is a vector, and the dimension of it depends on the system. A is the action that the agent takes. The state is updated based on this action. And T is the transition, which indicates the probability of the state in the next state, given the current state and action A. R is the reward. When the state is updated, a reward is given to the agent accordingly. Based on rewards, the agent optimizes its action scheme. And finally, pi indicates the updating policy of the agent, mapping states and actions. After training, reinforcement learning algorithm gets an optimal policy which can make the agent updating towards the way of getting optimal rewards. A deep deterministic policy gradient algorithm is based on the act critic algorithm, which is a reinforcement algorithm that separates the functions of taking actions and giving rewards. As you can see, there are two basic neural networks here. The actor neural network generates the action, while the critical and neural network determines the values of the state. The actor neural network and the critical neural networks are chained in the same time, so that the actor can learn a better updating policy, and the critic can give more precise and reasonable evaluation values. Here is the detailed schematics for deep deterministic policy gradient algorithm. As you can see, still there are two major parts, actor and critic. Each part consists of two neural networks, though, which are online neural networks and target neural networks. The actor online neural network train, uh, uh, train itself following the policy gradient method, which means when an actor leads to a state with more reward, then it updates the online neural network so it can generate more, uh, more actions to reach that state. Uh, and then the online critical training follows the rule of minimizing the temporal difference arrow. Uh, and in the last, the two target neural networks do the soft updating, which means they update in a much slower way. Then uh, it's a simulation results. Before showing the final results, here is the entire design flow proposed in this paper. Firstly, the design parameters are frequency, inductance, and capacitance values. Then semiconductor losses are evaluated by SPICE simulation 
and uh, artificial neural networks. And the inductor is designed by considering the core, the winding tents, and air gaps. Finally, the total loss model is a combination of both semiconductor losses and magnetic losses. After we get the, the final model, we put this into the DDPG algorithm to train the uh, reinforcement learning algorithm. Firstly, this is the results of the uh, artificial neural network model for semiconductor losses. Well, after collecting 10,000 sets of data, they are put into a neural network to train. As we can see on the left, both of, the both of training and validation errors converge to a small value after 200 episodes of training. Uh, then, in order to further validate the performance of the uh, artificial neural network, a comparison between the ANN output and the SPICE output is conducted, and when the inductance value and the capacitance value are fixed. Uh, as shown in the figure on the right, you can see the ANN outputs are pretty accurate to the SPICE simulation. <laughs> The definition of reward is critical for reinforcement learning to guide the agent to reach the optimal state. For the scenarios when ripple and volume constraints are exceeded, the reward is defined like this. So k is a large negative number working as a penalty factor for exceeding the constraints. Uh, and also, uh, the penalty constraints can uh, is at least minus 10. This penalty can train the agent to avoid to exceeding those uh, constraints. But for scenarios when constraints are not exceeded, the reward function is defined based on the efficiency, but also based on the efficiency uh, changes between uh, two steps. As you can see, if, if if, if the current step is bigger, uh, the efficiency of the current step is larger than the previous step, then we give it a, a positive reward. When the current uh, efficiency is only a little bit um, smaller than the previous step, then we give a reward of zero. But when the current, current uh, efficiency is much smaller than the efficiency from last step, then we give a minus 10 as a reward. So a training of 1000 episodes with 200 steps in each episode is conducted in the end. The figure in the right shows the average reward in each episode. Basically, the average reward during the training process of DDPG is increasing. At the beginning, the average reward is negative due to the penalty factor. After training, the agent learns how to avoid the penalty and reach the state that has the maximum reward. Since in the training, randomly sampled data are introduced to train, and in the meantime, the negative reward value is relatively large. So the curve is not smooth with random negative average reward in, in, in some episodes. So finally, it's the conclusion of the paper. In this paper, a DDPG-based parameter optimization algorithm is proposed for improving the DC-DC power converter design. Firstly, an artificial neural network is constructed for modeling the function between components parameters and operation properties, including free, uh, efficiency and ripples. Data from SPICE simulations are collected to train the neural network. Secondly, the reinforcement learning concept is introduced with a special focus on DDPG. Then the DCDC -DC converter parameter design problem is formulated to the DDPG framework, and then the DDPG is trained. Finally, the agent learns how to tune the parameters automatically and obtain an optimal scheme to maximize the reward. The results show that the reinforcement learning has the potential to improve the power electronics design automation.
That's all of my presentation today. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any comments or questions, please contact me. Thank you.